I just feel like that's the creative process is weird because like I feel like when you start in that spot, it's just it's just weird. Instead of starting a fresh idea, that's because it's the hard part. Starting a fresh idea is easy because it's just like random inspiration, but it's like the finishing that's the hard part. But the like you can't have a bunch of half songs. I know. We I'm just saying that them. like it's not as interesting. I know. Yeah. It's like it's the grind. I know. That's what I'm saying. Like we took a fresh idea and we put it into an old idea, and that's not the fun. old idea is a week old. Yeah. I feel like it's connecting puzzle pieces. Which is boring. No one watches people make puzzles. Okay. <laughs> yeah, that's my point. That's what I'm saying. Like. I feel like if we wanted this to be interesting, we should have just started completely fresh. I think the the struggle of writing a song is what people want it's to see. It's the real part. Like, capturing that the writing process is hard is exactly what this needs to be, because it's not easy. Yes. But there should you be a little bit of spice. Easy. Okay, then let's start again on a brand new idea. I already gave it up. Like, we, you stole it. And put it in that song. Did I steal it, or did I ask for your permission to use it in <laughs> No, it's fine. We'll make Jeez. a good bridge. Are we gonna return to that song though? I want to at least take some, make something good out of that. We made two lines. We wrote two lines and erased six. <laughs> How are my teeth looking? Horrible. Tell me for real. You have a ton of box seeds. Tell, then help me. I can't. You have to do it yourself. I don't know. I don't know where you want to start with this. Um. Well, I think the verses are fine. Yes, I agree. Yeah, so we just need to scrap the chorus, I think. And yeah, I want to start fresh on the pre-chorus. Because yeah. I agree, I like everything that you said in that thing that you read. And I feel, can we like write down the best thoughts on it? Like, I don't want to, like, we're not trying to steal what they're saying, but like just the yeah. ideas. Because like the people who don't deserve it get Yeah, like race. people that like, if, if Ted Bundy or whomever who's murdered a ton of people like has faith he gets to go to heaven and that's, like, that's what's fair. insane and that's crazy because that's like a stumbling block to people too yeah because that's Could, that's what like that's what divine vulgarity means it's like offensive it's offensively yeah grace is offensive it's like a paradox it's like this beautiful beautiful love but it's just so it does just does not make sense so I think uh, an idea that's really all-encompassing of everything that we talked about in regards to grace is like connecting the idea of a well and connecting grace and connecting like how grace is for the people that stink, which is literally all of us, but it, it's unfair. It doesn't make sense. I thought of like Jesus talking to the woman at the well, and I feel like that really connects, but um, because like she's either a prostitute or she's had several marriages and God... Or, and Jesus still like mm, offers her yeah. water from the well that does not dry up. And I feel like that's a really good image, but I don't want to be like, I was a woman, I had five husbands, yeah, yeah. you know. <laughs> but like maybe if we can, if the chorus or the bridge is kind of like encompassing of that idea. You chase after me, you chase, chase after me. You chased after me relentlessly. Chase after me, I think. No, it has to be you chase after me relentlessly. Or oh. you chase after me. No, don't take it yet. <laughs> okay. So free. Love so great that rescued me. You chased after you chased after me relentlessly. So good. Something like that. So we need yeah, we need a thing that works before it needs to be whatever it is, relentlessly. Okay. And it needs to be grace. It needs to be like love so great. Dun 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 dun. Is our syllables. Bum, so bum, grace bum, so relentless. free. Love so great that rescued me. Chasing after or chasing. Dang, my words are just not flowing today. Like, it's just like unending, or like there's no end to it. Or like there's no depth. 
Or there's no bottom. Yeah. You know? Something like that. I don't know. I don't I'm just writing words down. Hold on. Love so great that rescued me. Chase me down relentlessly. <laughs> I can't hide. There's no place. There's no place that I know. There's no place apart from you that I can find. So now I have. So now I'll try to set myself aside and trust in you. You like that? What did I say? So, so now I, so, I have to, or, or now I. So I will try. So I will try to set myself aside. I don't know if I'll do you. try because it's a little rhymy. And I will. I like the last line, where it's like those who know me like worship with their whole being, with their spirit. That, but like I don't think that's uh, the message that we're going for. Yeah. Do you want to do like the verses, pre chorus, chorus into bridge? Yeah. And hopefully I remember. We'll see. Yeah. So. Love, like a wildfire in my heart. Didn't ask for it or want it at the start. Now I am free. Grace. Like a river. This is an interesting one because we, like, it's always tough to say how many people are going to show up to one of these, um, especially because it's in Zimbrota, which means it's, you know, it's a little smaller town kind of outside of the city, so I don't exactly know how many, how many people are going to be here, but, um, you try and mentally and emotionally prepare for whatever happens. And, uh, in a quarter mile, turn right yeah. onto Black Hawk Road. Basically, I think that for us, we try and just mentally prepare that we're going to play and, and bring it to whoever shows up. And whoever shows up varies. Turn right onto and Black we Road. Then turn left onto try and keep the perspective of like, um, we're playing for an audience of one, and that audience of one is is God, and uh, it's uh, easier said than done, unfortunately. But we do our best. So, the weird thing is, I've never done this before, having my life documented. So, this is intense, but also very exciting. I feel a bit nervous. I did something awesome, Jenna. Yes. I re, so this morning when I was taking forever to pack up, yeah. I re all the cable ties are now the good ones. Oh, nice. That's why it's so long. That's why it took so long. <laughs> I get it. 
but it's awesome. No. We're slowly doing the things that we said we always would. Ooh, this could be a nightmare. Power wise. There's power here. Where? In the pulpit. So we'll use that to power the speaker. Mark? Oh my goodness, how are you doing, Mark? <laughs> oh yeah, it's getting long. It's long, it's like to my shoulders now. Yeah, and my my beard is, is just on point. <laughs> how are you doing? That's awesome. We're killing it. So my wife and I, um, Jenna, yeah, you know Jenna. Um, we actually started, we started like a praise band and we've been traveling the country playing music. Yes way. Yeah, I bailed out on, I mean, I'm doing a little bit of subcontract work right now just because we're in the area, but like last summer we, we did a, both coast tour of like 20,000 miles. So, yeah. Oh. oh man, 34 miles. That's gonna add up quick. Oh yeah. How do you? It's actually kind of fun. It's fun organizing stuff. Faculty. All Fa right. Faculty and staff. So all of these are saying you're temporarily restricted from starting new conversations until today at 1.09 p.m. If you think this doesn't go against our community standards, let us know. Because I sent like Ten copy and pasted messages to different churches. <laughs> Alright, that makes sense. I'll start again later. That's probably like spamming people. But so far it's worked. Is anything getting done over here? No. Yeah, what are you doing? I'm trying to find connections, but it sucks. It's really hard. You're doing a good job. Of trying. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't know how hard you're actually trying. Ooh. Okay, so uh, how do you want to talk about this? I don't know exactly what part of it you wanted to discuss. So I think we should just kind of talk about like the things that we learned from that podcast, which are specifically like emails useful. And then like trying to add value on our online presence. Yeah. That's true for us too. Like again, you, you've said it a million times today. In order to get the carousel going, you have to be, you have to push really hard at first. Right. I know. I'm not, I know that. I'm just saying like, is the, is a Facebook We're live? We're not fighting. I promise. Yeah. This is, this, this is, is just real. how we talk. We're passionate. Is, is actual like Facebook live effective enough? Well, but like, this is the thing, like that's on me. It's like, okay, so we have to figure out a, another product or service or something that adds value in a different area so that a person in Alaska who's never gonna see us ever live, well, that's not true, when, but you know, again. very unlikely. Why would they wanna give us money? We have to offer them something. It can be like a healthy combination. I feel as though if we, if we let's say we have a Monday Facebook live thing, and we talk about our dates, but then we talk about something, like we maybe just have like a mini devotion together, or we like talk about a Bible passage together, which like builds our relationship, and it's also part of who we are, which is, again, we, dis we discussed yesterday, we are a normal couple who 
is passionate about awakening hearts for Jesus and we happen to play music. Like if we kind of include all of those things, who we are, we're a normal person, which is just talking about random stuff, just yeah. being goofy like we always are. And we're passionate about awakening hearts, so we have a devotion. Okay. And we happen to play music, which is like the tour dates. Or like maybe we talk about the content we're releasing that week or something. So we just Facebook Live this every day? Every day? Not every day. Once a week. I'm saying like once a week. Um, I still don't think that adds enough value though. Really? Because then, again, okay, so... What is it pushing towards? What is it all pushing towards? People knowing who we are. It's still pushing towards the live show. Okay. Which we don't do enough of. I bow through our... Yeah, if you're singing harmony, you can't be okay. on the mic. I'm sorry. It's okay. Through our universe display. If it gets awesome, like we're like, it's getting too hot. Yeah, yeah. Make sure. I can do that. Yeah. Sweet. I feel like there's gonna be a decent amount of people here. Yeah, I mean, it's like 10 minutes before and there's people, and that Everyone's doesn't always in. happen. Yeah. Yeah, that's all right. Do you know if we turn this all the way down? No one could hear us. Get that office quote. Oh yeah. This, what is? Oh, what's the context? They're in the that. stairwell and they're making out. Who is it? Dwight. Holly. Holly. And, oh, oh yeah. And he's like, oh, can they hear us? And he's like, not if we turn this all the way <laughs> down. And it's like starts clipping. I'm embarrassed by the amount of office, office quotes my daily conversation is. Yeah. Like, it like stops conversation because I feel the need to yeah. quote it. There's actually people out there. There's actually people. There's actually people. People showed up. Boom. Yes, yes. Should we pray? Is that a decent amount of time? Or is it going to be an awkward amount of time? Are you doing it or am I? Sure, I can. All right. Dear God, thank you so much for giving us another opportunity to share, um, share about you with these people. Um, please guard our hearts against the enemy. Um, we know that in these moments we're always under attack about how many people are outside or how many people are here or how people are reacting and um, how people are vibing with how things go and please help us to uh, to, to persevere and, and to ignore those those attacks um, we know that that we're here really to worship you and to lead others to worship you and that's really all it is about is uh, between you and us Please give us the confidence and the ability and the, the, um, the skill tonight to, to alleviate or to have as few mistakes as possible. Um, please, if it be your will, um, fill this room with the Holy Spirit and, and allow the people to, uh, to be inspired and to be filled up with you. Um, we're so thankful for this opportunity to do this again and to praise your name in front of people. And uh, we don't take it for granted and we're so blessed. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Woo! Woo. <laughs> yeah, the weird, the weird here, this is when we get weird. <laughs> this is the real, this is the real what it is in backstage. The real what it is. <laughs> <laughs> that should be our this podcast. This is the real what it is. <laughs> the real what it is. This is the real what it is. Are you going to have enough water there? Nope. Okay. Seriously, I'm... Eat, I've eaten so much calcium recently from Good. this water bottle. Your bones have got to be strong as crap. Yeah, because I hate milk, so this is the way I have to do milk. And now the waves are breaking, and the winds are raging. So we just have one more song for you. 
And this, uh, this last song is one that's very near and dear to my heart. Um, Jen and I wrote this, I think, probably a little bit after we got back from tour. So just to give perspective, we were on tour for like three months. We lived in a camper. It was uh, this little fiberglass camp, 13 feet. And we lived in it, and it was awesome for three months. And we're still friends, which is amazing. But uh, this song kind of came out of tour, I think. And um, if I'm being really honest, I think at first tour might have been a bit self-seeking. It's always nice to have people know that you're talented. And the crazy thing is, is when you chase after recognition, that's all you get, and it's pretty shallow. And then it seemed like it shifted about halfway through, and we kind of realized, like, oh, I guess this is bigger than just me. It's bigger than us. And that I think God has a plan that can make it surpass just talent. Because, I mean, really, what's the point if you sing songs or play music for yourself? It doesn't go very far. So... This song kind of came out of that, and it, it's really impactful because it's asking God to use me however you want to use me, but to use me fully, fully, till I breathe my last breath. Please help me not waste another day. Please help me not waste time. But please use me to, to do whatever you want me to do. So this last song is called Follow Where You Lead.